Today we are playing Abomination, which is basically like Pokemon, but uh, fun. So three Abomis are searching for an ancient statue because money, when they suddenly meet the light spirit. Oh no, a scary monster is going to attack. This is where you pick your starter, so I pick Banco the Sunflower Lion of course. The scary monster turns out to be a level 1 guinea pig called Hamburble, which I defeat in one swift attack because it's weak to the plant type. When suddenly, oh no, the Dark Lord Furchifume attacks. The Light Spirit teleports herself and Bunko away, and the other two Abomis, they, uh, they, uh, they die, and that's where the game starts. The first fight we enter is against a Kermel, which slaps us, so I slap it back, and then it slaps me again, so I slap it again. After a lot of slapping, the Kermel dies, uh, I mean, its soul has been freed, it died. Then we get to pick a team name. I of course pick team Bunko, because my starter is named Bunko. Not soon after that I recruit the first member of team Bunko, Bungle the dog. He believes that we are monsters, so to prove to him that we are in fact the good guys, we uh, beat him up, after which he agrees to join our team. With only an ice and a grass type, I was expecting this fire type Snappy Barra to be a real challenge, but um, it, it doesn't really attack me, uh, it, it only makes mean faces towards me. Now we're fighting another Snappy Barra that does actually attack me and um... No! Bungle survived. And now Bino the Thing has joined our team. Suddenly we can't progress anymore because of conveniently placed smoke. We have to use a statue to teleport to a dark forest, which is basically this game's gym leader. You have to consecutively defeat about 10 normal Obumis and then a stronger boss Obumi, without being able to heal at campfires in between fights. Alright, two more hits and... No! Here's the thing, we both kill each other in one hit, but Ground Duck is faster, so the only way I can win this is if Ground Duck doesn't use a damaging move. Don't attack, don't attack. Yes, he didn't attack. Bungle survived. Ground Duck is dead. After this, the smoke blocking our path just so happened to disappear. I get into a fight and um, the game freezes. Or well, it, it doesn't freeze technically, it, it just stays stuck on this screen forever. No matter what I do, I can't continue. So I have to restart the game. And it happened again. Now at this point I was getting a bit worried. Because if it didn't let me progress I wouldn't have been able to make this video. But then I realized Abomination is supposed to be a difficult game. It's supposed to be challenging. This is not a bug. This is simply another challenge. So after a bit of thinking I realized that both times the enemy before the onion died of recoil damage. So in my third attempt I killed him myself instead of letting him die of recoil damage. And sure enough the game progressed just fine. Challenge completed. I buy an evolution crystal and evolve the boom the cat into what the hell is that? Turn it back, turn it back. It looks so silly. I also evolve Bungle the dog, who turns into a slightly bigger and stronger dog. I also evolve Colonel the homeless snail into a uh, pogo stick, but it becomes incredibly strong and fast, so I won't complain. All right, 94 damage. Shoot insta. What? Huh? No. How did I do so much damage? No. Bunko is dead. We managed to defeat the second boss, but it does cost us one team member. The way Abomination works, the first person to use this code will get to revive Bunko and add him to their team. Bunko is replaced by another grass type, Onion, which quickly turns into Leak. We enter the third forest after stocking up on lots of healing items so we don't lose another team member. Taboom use Hot Class. Are you serious? He has one life left. The newest member on our team, Leak, turns out to be a hard counter against the boss. Lobster horse. We defeat him and return to the base when suddenly a thick fog appears. Uh oh. Part 2 is coming soon.